Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and if you've ever wanted to find and remove duplicate rows from your table, then you're going to want to watch this video. Hey, if you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, let's get started. Let's learn how to remove some duplicate rows from our tables. Now, I'm going to start using uh, Postgres here to do this, but we could actually be using SQLite or MySQL or SQL Server. The commands I'm going to show you are all the same. I'm using a table called Students. It's in my Git repository. I'll have a link for that in the notes in case you want to follow along. But here you can see I have students. I got Alice, Bob, Charlie, and so on. And if I sort this grid here, you can see that I have some duplicates. And what I want to do is a, you know, understand what the duplicates are. So I can say I got, you know, Alice twice, you know, by name and age. But I want to be able to remove one of these rows. In fact, if there were like five Alice's in this system, I'd want to remove all but one. So how can I find Alice duplicates and remove them, but still retain one of the records in the system. So the trick here is is understanding how I can keep the IDs, right? Keep one of the IDs, see because the IDs aren't duplicate, and use the others to actually remove rows. So let's jump into that. And if you recall from how we can find duplicates, how we're going to find duplicates is by using a window function. So I'm going to use row number here to partition our um, data by name and age and when I do so no whoops I didn't I didn't do what I wanted to do I want to do star here just to show um, so when I run this with row number now you can see I got Alice and I got her name and age and you got I got row one row two and then Bob and so on and so I'm now starting to identify the duplicates and I'm going to use this row number to isolate one row to keep and to chuck the rest within this partition, which is set up by name and age. So to do that, I would literally do something like this. So let's go through this command here. And what this is doing now is it's, I got the select part. This part here is really just um, picking out the um, what I wanted to say, the um, picking out and identifying those rows that are duplicate. Excuse me, I brain locked today. And then we're going to essentially say, yo, show us the ones that are greater than uh, two. So these are going to be the duplicates. So we're going to we're going to really just target these rows here, and then we're going to chuck them out. So this command will show us which are the ones that we're going to delete. And it's always good before you delete to actually show that. And if I come in here now and run this, you'll see that I have Alice, Charlie, and Bob. So these are the rows that I want to delete. Okay, so far so good. So how do I delete these rows? Well, that's actually pretty easy because what I can say now is say right here, delete from student where student's ID in here. So when I run this, it ran the command. Now let's go back and do the select star from students to see who is left. And you can see now I do not have duplicates. I have Alice, Bob, Charlie, David, Eve, Frank, but I don't have Alice twice. So we got rid of our duplicates. So this is a great way to do this. And this command's now safe, because if I rerun it again, er, 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 run it a couple of times, I'm not getting rid of any other rows. So I'm only keeping those first rows. So this is how you can get rid of duplicates. The secret is the window function. And if you really, really want to learn about window functions, head on over to Udemy, 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 however you want to say it, to my course. There's a coupon in this video and I'll teach you all about them. Take care, bye.